right, sixth grade lesson 92. This is expanded notation with exponents and order of operations with exponents and then the power of fractions. Okay, <laughs> ready? Let's take the number 365. Help me remember how to write this, okay? In expanded notation. We haven't done it in a long time. Do you remember it? Oh, uh, kind of. Okay. So it would be 300 parentheses times. Almost. No. Time out. Times. This has to be broken up. Yeah, it would be 300. No, you say 3 times, times what place? 100. Okay. Okay. Plus? Plus 6 times 10. Because it's in the 10th spot. Good job. And... Five times one. Because it's in the ones spot. Good job. Three times 100 is 300. Six times 10 is 60. And five times one is five. 365. Okay, remember that? Yeah. All right, well, guess what you're going to learn to do today? You're going to learn how to do it with exponents. Okay, so watch how I do this, Eli. Three times, now watch what I do. I'm going to say three times 10 because... What is 10 times 10? 100. Uh-huh. So how many 10s did I use? 1. No, 10 times 10, ten. makes 100. Yeah, I, I knew you knew what I was talking about, but I didn't ask you right. Okay? So 3 times 10 squared is 100. Yeah. Do you see how these match? Uh-huh. You're just using squares instead? Uh-huh. Okay. Now let's go to the next one. 6 times 10 to the, uh, I don't understand. There's not, well, it's only 10, so yeah, just how many do you same. need? You one. only need one, so one. Yeah. Okay, and this one kind of gets confusing, but 5 times 10, do we need any 10s? No. Zero. Okay, the easiest way to look at that is go, how many zeros do I have? Two. How many zeros do I have? One. How many zeros do I have? Nine. Zero. Isn't that better? Yeah. Much easier to see it like that, right? It'd be easier in a bigger number, too. Right. To do this. Okay, so that's how you would write it, just like that. Okay. Okay, let's try another one. Another number. Okay. Whoa. The speed of light is 186,000 miles per second. Holy cow, right? 186,000 miles per second. So, light travels that far in a second. That's fast. Okay? So, write this in expanded notation using exponents. So, let's do it without exponents first and then we'll do it with exponents. So, help me out. Let's start with the one. One Times, um, what spot is that in? Thousand? Ones, no. tens, hundreds, Duh, thousands, ten thousand. ten thousands, hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. One hundred thousand. That's our first one. Mm -hmm. Next one? A plus plus eight, eight times, times ten thousand. Ten thousand. Because it's in the ten thousand spot. Plus Six. I would keep going, but I don't have enough board, so six, six times times uh, one thousand. One thousand, very good. And then you don't do the rest. Do you, you don't do the rest because the rest is zeros; they're not worth anything. Okay, so now let's put this in exponents. Okay, so help me out. Okay. Uh, you one do... times, and you always say times ten. One times ten to the. Seventh? No, one, two, three, four, five. Fifth power, right? Oh, Isn't that cool? It's much easier to count the zeros in it. Okay? Yeah. Plus eight times ten to the fourth power. Very good. Plus six times ten third. to the third power. Third power. Very good. That's your answer. Feel like you got it? Yep. All right. So that's how you write it 
This is our answer because they asked us to write it in expanded notation using exponents. So this would not be the answer anymore. This is how you would write it. Okay? All right, now we're switching over to order of operation, PEMDAS. Remember that? Yep. But we're doing PEMDAS with exponents. So hang in there with me. Help me remember PEMDAS. What does P stand for? Per, uh, parentheses. parentheses. E is for? Exponents. <coughs> Very good. M is for? Multiply, divide, add, subtract. Very good. Okay, now when you get to multiply and divide, you just go from left to right. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Even if divide comes first or multiply comes first, okay. it doesn't matter. You're going to do from left to right with multiplication and division. Then you're going to do left to right with adding and subtracting. So if subtraction comes first, you'll do some, something subtracting. If adding comes first, it doesn't matter as long as you're moving from left to right. Remember that? Yep. All right, so let's do this. Look at this problem. 5 oh, right. minus... Yeah, you might want to write it on your paper. 8 plus 8, in parentheses, divided by square root of 16 plus 3 squared. This one's oh crazy, isn't it? Times 2. Woo! Oh now, I didn't tell you this before. But with exponents also comes roots. So exponents roots. What's a root? Like you mean? Roots. Oh. Okay. okay. Square and roots. Yeah. Square of something and um um yeah. exponents. So it also is exponents and roots. So this is exponents. This is roots. Okay. So this is really er. Permdus. Permdus. <laughs> okay. But the r and the e go together. So you're just going from left to right like normal. Okay. Okay, so are there any parentheses? 8 plus 8. Okay, what is that? 16. So you move everything down. Yeah, I could move it down, but since I can erase it with my fingers, I just put it in there. Okay. Okay, but you can. Okay. Okay. Now, we're done with parentheses. Now let's do exponents and roots from left to right. Do you see any exponents or roots? Uh, three to the same power. I see roots first. You do oh, left you to do right. Roots. Oh, yeah, okay, I got you. Sorry. Exponents and roots. Okay, roots. That'd be eight. No, no, no. The what times root what? Sixteen. Yeah. That would be four times four. Four times four. Very good. So uh, you can just bring everything down, but I'm just gonna erase it. Okay. Okay. Four plus three to the same power. Okay. Two. Yep. Okay. Now what are we gonna do? Uh, 3 to the second power. Okay, which is 3 times 3 is, is 9. Very good. 2, 4, divided by. Okay, are there any more exponents or roots? No. Nope, crossing that out. Now, M, multiplying or dividing, going from left to right. Or, is so there any, any multiplying or dividing? Yeah, 9 times 2. First, we've got to divide first. See, divide, but it says multiply then divide. Yeah, okay. but it's left to right. So it doesn't matter if divide okay. comes first. This is, this could be dm Yeah. or md. Why this is 16 in parentheses? Just because it had four or eight times, or eight plus eight right there. So do I put it in there? No, you don't have to anymore. It's just, once okay. we answered eight plus eight, it was just 16. I forgot to take off parentheses. Okay. Okay, so what is 16 times, divided by four? 16 divided by 4 is, um... 4, right? Yeah. Because 4 times 4 is 16. Yeah. So I'm going to erase that. You can bring everything else down. So then 4 plus 9 times 2. Okay, so then what do we do? 9 times 2. Which is? 18. Very good. So you should have? 5 minus 4 plus 18. Very good. Now... We're done with multiplying, we're done with dividing. Now, you can subtract first and then add. This could say SA okay. or AS. You just go from left to right. So it's 1 plus 18. So 5 minus 4 is 1 plus 18 is 19. Got it? Yep. So the answer to that is 19. Feel like you understand it pretty good? Mm -hmm. You got to make sure you're doing the MD left to right and AS left to right, depending on, it doesn't matter if it's subtracting first. Okay. okay, that whole rule. Okay, last thing. 
the power of fractions, okay? So if you were to see that fraction and it had a three up here, what would this mean? Do you know? A half to the third power? Yes, okay, so what would you do if you saw that? Uh, you do five times five times five. So guess what you're gonna do here? One half times one half times one half. Okay. Same thing you would do with a normal number, you're just going to do here. So let's go 1 times 1 times 1 equals 1. 2 times 2 times 2 equals? Uh, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So the answer to this is 1 eighth. Hmm. You understand how to do it? Yes. Let's do one more. You try it on your paper. Last problem. We're done. 2 thirds Two -third. squared. Squared. Okay. It'll be 4 ninths. Very good. So he did 2 thirds times 2 thirds and got 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9. I can't tell you many people would have said 6 right here because sometimes we mix that up. Yeah. Okay, so that's 3 times 3, 9. Good job. That is lesson 92.